and the catalyst needs to be the exit of Arsene Wenger as manager. Express Sport gives you 10 reasons why the 2017-18 season should be Wenger's last with the Gunners.1. Arsenal and Arsene Wenger have gone backwards from a position of strength in the mid-2000s. Arsenal are now viewed as poor relations compared to their rivals. The move to the Emirates and the financial power of Chelsea, Manchester United and Manchester City have been contributing factors. But there is no doubt that the vast resources available to Arsenal have been misused. Wenger is guilty of losing touch with his peers in several aspects, but most gallingly in terms of style of play. Gone are the days when observers would say Arsenal play the most attractive football. Much of what made Wenger's greatest teams so special is absent in the current iteration. They have become a team devoid of inspiration, character, belief and confidence. And it all lies with the manager.2. Arsenal players making the same old mistakes trust Wenger's most admirable trait but also his biggest weakness. The Arsenal boss will defend his players and attempt to instill confidence into them even when they least deserve it. He's been let down on so many occasions, it's hard not to feel sorry for him. Sloppy defending at set pieces being caught on the counter-attack and carelessness in possession are all regular issues for Arsenal, but when players continue to make basic errors, it comes a point when a ruthless edge is needed and Wenger HASNT displayed it enough and it has been to his detriment and Arsenal's. If Wenger can't get his message across to the players anymore, there's little chance he can prevent them from committing the same mistakes. Point three. Arsenal players not developing Wenger had a wonderful reputation for enhancing the careers of players, in particular, ones in attack. Thierry Henry, Fred Youngberg, Robin Van Persie all benefited from Wenger's coaching, but in recent years, you can probably count on one hand the number of players who have developed under the Arsenal boss. Nacho Monreal, Laurent Koscielny and Olivier Giroud are two examples of players that have grown under him but that's not enough. Others like Hector Bellerin and Alex Iwabi have broken through but been unable to maintain their levels consistently despite their obvious ability. You could argue Alexis Sanchez is a better player than the one who left Barcelona but his sheer force of will meant he wasnt going to take a backward step. However, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Gabriel and Wojciech Szczesny all failed to progress and they have been sold. It's a damning indictment when you see the visible improvements Pep Guardiola and Mauricio Pochettino have made for players at Manchester City and Tottenham. Parsin Wenger has been on the decline in recent years. A feud said after Arsenal went the entire league season unbeaten in 2004, that they wouldn't win it again for at least 14 years, you would have been laughed out of the room. Yet that is the scenario facing the Gunners as they sit a distant 21 points behind Man City. Expectations at Arsenal have dropped so much, nobody seriously gave them a chance of winning the league this season and the skeptics have been proved right. Put simply, that is not good enough for a club of Arsenal's stature. With the money spent and the huge wage bill at Arsenal, something has gone dramatically awry. Under Wenger, it is clear Arsenal's hopes of winning the league are non-existent.5. Alexis Sanchez and Mesut Ozil contract farce for a top club to be at risk of losing one world-class player is poor. To be facing the prospect of losing two world-class players is gross negligence. But that is the situation facing Arsenal as they enter 2018 with Alexis Sanchez and Mesut Ozil. In their defense, Arsenal have tried repeatedly to convince them to sign new deals but with every month that passed without an agreement, they lost their leverage. In hindsight, with a considerable interest in Sanchez, he should have been sold because his temperament and attitude have been disgraceful at times. The relationship with his teammates is flimsy at best and he appears to have little regard for the supporters. He is simply passing the time until he can leave. In comparison, Ozil has remained Arsenal's creator-in-chief and it looks as though he could eventually be convinced to stay. But ultimately the reason they haven't committed their futures is that they don't believe they can win the Premier League and Champions League with Arsenal, and they're right. Wenger has not assembled a good enough squad to give them the support their talents needed and Arsenal will find it difficult to replace them. Point six. Falling Emirates attendance says Arsenal's official attendance compared to those actually in the Emirates has become a running joke in recent years. 
for the Europa League game against Bait Borisov this month, 54,648 was given as the attendance but it was later acknowledged that the real number was under 30,000. In 2009, Arsenal could get a house to the youth team in the League Cup. It's been a dramatic loss of support as fans make their feeling clear by not turning up. But when you combine an often predictable and tedious style of football with widespread apathy, empty seats are an inevitable result. Thursday, December 14, 2017 Which players should Arsenal target in January? Data courtesy of BetStars One of Arsenal's major problems has been their lack of effectiveness in the transfer market. Wenger's reluctance to spend and trust in the players he has means those that do arrive need to be successes. But the likes of Yaya Sanogo, Matthew Debussy, Gabriel, Mohamed Elneny and Lucas Perez have failed to strengthen the Arsenal squad. The jury is out on Granit Xhaka and Shkodron Mustafi while this summer's buys Alexander Lacazette and Seed Kolasinic have made steady but unspectacular starts to their Arsenal careers. The decision not to sign any outfield players in 2015 was a disastrous decision by Wenger when it was obvious investment was needed. In terms of outgoings, Arsenal haven't been able to offload players for their right price meaning less money in the transfer kitty to spend. Arsenal have invested heavily in football data analytics to help in the decision process for players and they are yet to reap the rewards which has led to their downfall. Point eight. Champions League qualification failure with Arsenal's decline, clubs like Spurs and Liverpool have overtaken them and meant they face an uphill battle to finish in the top four. After years of qualifying for the Champions League, Arsenal failed to sow last season and will need a mammoth effort in the second half of this campaign to return to Europe's premier competition. Without the Champions League, Arsenal will struggle to attract the calibre of players needed to win major honours. Yet in truth, Arsenal have not looked close to winning the Champions League since 2006 and seven consecutive exits in the last 16 is a dismal record. Not qualifying for a second successive year would be a huge failure by Wenger and Arsenal. Getty Mohamed Elneny and Granit Xhaka have failed to convince for Arsenal above all else. A fresh outlook and perspective is perhaps the most important reason why Wenger should leave. To stay at one club for over 20 years is a remarkable record but all things must eventually come to an end. Wenger has had ample opportunity to mix things up but has demonstrated a stubbornness which has held back the club. Arsenal players have made mistakes for years knowing they would be protected by the Frenchman and thus not taking responsibility for their actions. A different voice could make all the difference in getting that extra 10% out of the players. A new manager would bring in a new style, philosophy and hope a change in mentality to maximize the most from players. A change in perception is also needed. For too long Arsenal have been easy to play against, labelled soft, accused of buying the same type of player. A fresh approach would force people to start thinking about Arsenal differently. If it doesn't work, so be it. Chelsea are evidence that hiring and firing managers does not lead to a total collapse. Off the field, Wenger's grip on all areas of the club is slowly being removed with the arrival of a new chief scout and director of football operations. Only Sir Alex Ferguson can boast about the type of control which Wenger has exerted at Arsenal. It has gone stale at Arsenal and only Wenger's departure will freshen things up. 10. Diminishing legacy Despite everything, one thing Wenger deserves above all else is respect. Fan disappointment is completely understandable but at times it has spilled over into unnecessary vitriol. There's no doubt Wenger's legacy has been diminished by Arsenal's failings over the past few years and he will be displeased by that. But he loves the club dearly, you see written all over his face whether Arsenal win or lose. Which is why for the good of the club, he should step aside to let Arsenal move forward. Almost everything is in place for Arsenal to push on with a renewed sense of optimism, belief and attitude. In time, a statue will be built to honor the memories he has given, the sacrifices he's made and loyalty showed. And that is the least he deserves because it's difficult to put into words the impact he's had.